This is a clip from a recent episode of the Keep Off the Grass livecast. Hey, yeah. so I, I've, I've been hearing some uh, some stuff floating around about some potential uh, grass seed shortage. What's, what's that all about? So we've got a couple of factors, you know, at, at play, right? And, and so a lot of them are a bit unprecedented. One is pandemic demand, you, you know, uh, lawn and garden retail, a lot of people in their homes, you know, for the last year and continuing even now. And, and so a lot of them have turned to their lawns and, and started to work on them more, more DIY, more, you know, lawn and landscape. Uh, and, and all of that has filtered in, into more <laughs> demand for our product, more eyes on our industry. And, and so you take a, a harvest that we have, you know, kind of a once a year type deal. Uh, where we grow a crop for the entire year, harvest it, and then we draw down a big pile. What we've got is a lot more people coming for that pile. All the species, everything that we sell as an industry, not just Mountain View. Um, and, and so we've got that, you know, mm-hmm. layered onto a harvest that we'll say haven't been ideal maybe for the last two years, especially on something like perennial ryegrass and, and quickly tall fescue you know, maybe becoming a problem, you know, into the fall and, and out to spring 2022. So you've got that, you know, layered on to pandemic demand, more people wanting to see. And, and you've had some consolidation in our industry where, you know, you've had some companies that have been purchased or, or are in agreement to be purchased. So you have large amounts of seed that are getting taken out of uh, the professional and the DIY market and going completely into retail because of how big, the retail push has been uh, with the pandemic demand. And, and then you layer that on with less than ideal crop harvest. Uh, you know, you, you've got a gap. So we've got to get back over that and plant more seed and, you know, hopefully get more into the ground. And in this case, not plant too much. You know, it's just as important as not having enough is we can't have piles and piles of seed because then we'll crash the price and there'll be too much. And, you know, not not a uh, not a lot of people will, you know, be able to to have what they want. I guess when they want it. So uh, it's a delicate, you know, dance. It's a big industry, and so we're just trying to keep up with the economics of it. But yes, you know, perennial ryegrass, tall fescue will be short as an industry. You know, and so getting with suppliers, people that you trust, distributors, you know, the the end users that we value you know, talking to those people and having, having an understanding of what, yeah, what this fall is going to be like, because it's, it's not going to be this huge crunch, but yeah, we are, we are going to be tight. So um, I think it's important to, to get that out in front of people and, and kind of let them know so they can start preparing. It's not going to be a big panic. You know, we don't want some kind of a bank run on all our grass seed, but it's important for us to, to tell people that, Hey, yeah, that there is, there is a bit of a shortage. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to the Keep Off the Grass livecast on YouTube and join us every Tuesday night at 10 o'clock, 9 central, for the next DIY lawn care discussion.